Hey, are you ready to have some landscape fun and you're ready to add a little bit of magic to your landscape or in this case a cityscape? It's a real simple thing to do as long as you've got the big stopper. That's what people are calling these 10 stop neutral density filters. Autorama TV presents You Keep Shooting with Brian Peterson. In this particular case, I've got the B plus W 10 stop neutral density filter. Now what on earth am I going to do with that and what on earth does it possibly add in terms of magic to the photograph that I'm about to shoot? Well, let's first of all take a shot of the Chicago skyline in the background with these beautiful white puffy clouds, F8 200th of a second with an ISO of 50. Take a peek. I think you'll say to yourself, yeah, you know, it's not bad. Great clouds, it diminishes the size in terms of the composition of the city itself, kind of makes the city a little bit humbled because of the vast expanse of sky. Fine and dandy, but is it really that special? Of course, my answer is not really, but we add this incredibly dark, almost black-like filter, putting it on the lens itself, and that's adding 10 stops to the exposure. But before you get all excited, let me make a point here. Give your chance an eye, give your eye a chance to dilate and you'll be able to see through the camera and as you do that keep a couple things in mind I'm going to get the longest possible exposure when I stop the lens down all the way so I'm actually going to stop the lens down all the way in this case I'm getting an aperture of f29 hi this is Brian Peterson inviting you to check out Adorama's latest contest this could be your chance to win some great prizes. And I'm going to now at F29 rotate my shutter speed until I get an exposure time of 30 seconds. But hold on, F29 at 30 seconds is telling me I'm still two stops underexposed. And this is where a lot of people get tripped up. They go, oh God, what do I do now? You do the math. It's real simple. Remember, photography stops works in halving or doubling. So in this particular case, if we're two stops under, then F29 at 30, at two under, becomes F29 at 60 seconds to get us to one under, which means two minutes at F29 gets us to the perfect exposure time. See how easy that is? F29 at 30, two stops under. F29 at 60, one stop under. F29 at two minutes, perfect. So. Cable release, in this case a locking cable release. Press the shutter, lock it up, and I'm gonna wait for two minutes. But of course, I'm not gonna ask you to wait for two minutes. In fact, we're gonna pretend the exposure is done. I already shot it actually before the video started. Take a look for yourself, and you will clearly see that in this particular case, the two images, look at them side by side. I know you'll agree, the image taken at two minutes is far more compelling than the image taken at f8 at 160th of a second. The answer is really simple. The drama and the subsequent energy that those moving clouds impart makes it that much more appealing. Well, you've been looking for an excuse to take your landscapes to a new level. This is the way to do it. Hey, until next time, this is Brian Peterson, along with the 10-stop neutral density filter, reminding all of you, you keep shooting. great looking prints at low cost, be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.